Hi Mohack, great to see you this morning at the Wilderness Club. Just want to recap on what we worked on uh, around the pitching area. So first things first, uh, this chip here with you on the left, you was hitting uh, about a 10-yard chip shot, but it looks like you're hitting a full 7-iron with the uh, width of your stance here. We can see here it's quite wide to set up, it's a bit too wide. So if we look at this guy here on the right, he's six foot three. that's Peter Hansen, uh, and we can see his feet are almost touching where they're so narrow. And the reason why we get the feet so narrow is that it gets the center of the grab our center of gravity in front of the ball. So if we used to draw a straight line from his buttons and his t-shirt, you can see it's in front of the ball. With yourself, you'll probably see that it's in line with the ball or slightly behind. And this just looks like there's one that's too much weight on that right side as well. So feet needed to go a lot closer together. 80% uh, of your weight I want to see on your left side, and that just got the chest in front of the ball there. The rest of the setup's fine. We just run through your stroke. We can see here as the club goes away, quite stiff wristed, which is fine. But as you come through to hit the ball, you're now going to see that you give it a bit of a flick. So we can see here as the club comes up, this left arm and club does not form one straight line anymore where you've let the, the club pass. If we look at Peter here on the right, as he comes through, you're going to see that his left arm and club forms almost a straight line. Sorry, there you go, straight line. So we can see there that we need to get that club. So really easy, well, I just gave you a different feeling of the left hand leading through impact uh, and that got the club head almost going down into the back of the ball opposed to trying to sort of scoop it as we can see here because we can see here your hands are definitely on the going on the way up um, this way. Okay, so we have a look there. We can see the hands are going up opposed to me. I want to see them going a bit more down into the back of the ball this way. So new stance, great. Get the weight on the left side, rock the shoulders, get to keep the left hand in front of the ball, and that was technique done. Second thing then was all about your landing spot. So at the moment, you tend to land everything on the green, uh, and I gave you the philosophy of trying to land everything sort of four foot on the green if possible, and then pick the right club to propel the ball the right distance. If you're always picking four foot on the green and the pins, say six foot on the green, then it's going to be your most lofted. If the flag was obviously 40 foot on the green, it could be like a seven iron or a or a eight iron, you know, pitching it four foot on and letting it run. So that gave you a different sort of perception of how to chip. And then obviously if you get a really tough shot and you didn't feel like you could land it on the green, it gave you a thing you could move that landing spot short of the green and then run it through the grass as you started to do. And you uh, really got the feeling of that. So work on that for me. If you get anything, give us a shout. But um, that should really help. And I'll see you soon.